In this video, we're going to factor the expression 18x cubed plus 33x squared minus 30x. When factoring, it's very easy to forget about the first step because we only use it about 10 to 20 percent of the time. And so we get going and forget the first step of every factoring problem should be to check for the greatest common factor. Always check to see if all three terms have something in common. In this case, they do. 18, 33, and 30 are all divisible by 3. They also all have a variable x in common. So let's start by factoring out 3x. That leaves us with 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. Now that we've taken care of the greatest common factor, now we can continue to factor what's left. Using the AC method, 6 times negative 10 is negative 60, and we want to add to the 11. 60 is 15 times 4, and if the 4 is negative, then we should be able to split the middle term up into 15x and negative 4x. This GCF isn't going to go away. It's just going to be in front of everything as we continue to work. We have 6x squared. The 11x is split into 15x and negative 4x minus 10. Again, we'll keep the 3x in front of everything, and then we'll factor inside the parentheses by grouping. 6x squared and 15x, the common factor there is 3x, leaves behind 2x plus 5. On the right side, negative 4x and negative 10, the common factor there is negative 2, keeping the sign from the middle, leaves us with 2x plus 5. And we did get that matching factor that we want. Keep the GCF out front. The matching factor, 2x plus 5, and the other factor, 3x minus 2. We have now factored our expression. Again, it's really important to always check to factor the greatest common factor first. After you've factored that greatest common factor, then we look inside the parentheses and continue factoring it like normal keeping that GCF in front for the rest of the problem. Whoops, lost my answer. There we go.